Salutations, planet. I am Rob Chapman. And I'm Andy. We're at Toman. We are. In Treppendorf, in Franconia, in Bavaria, in Germany. In Europe. To, in Europe. In the world. On Earth. I have always wanted to compare a really affordable cable like this Pro Snake, which retails for three euros ninety here at Toman. Mm -hmm. It is a Toman own branded cable. Yeah. With something a little bit different. Something very different. <laughs> what is this, Andy? This is a Vovox. Uh, I'm going to go, that's called a Pro as well, a Pro Snake. I'm going to go, yes. this is Super Pro. I don't know if they call it that. This is 368 euros for a cable. I think we should unbox that cable. Should we have, well, un 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 do you want to do it? Do you want to do it together? We'll do it together, yeah, hold on, hold on, ready? Uh, oh, that, that, was, that was made even better by your sound effect. Thanks. And uh, oh, you get a bit of orange orange card. There we go. That's nice. With instructions. All right, so plug one do, end. Do you in have instructions on yours? One, no, uh, no. So strike one for the pro snake. Yeah. Right. Just carefully then, lay that um, down there. If we pop its cheeky head out. Oh. Wow. Well, for a start, Andy's cable is much thicker than mine. Mm -hmm. Mine. How much thicker? Well, I'd say it's about at least three it's times. It's at least three times the girth of my cable. My, my cable is, is quite thin. And Mine's probably three times as thick as yours. It's quite flaccid. It won't, it won't retain its rigidity. And yours is called the snake, yet mine really closely resembles the snake. But then if you look at my end, my yeah. angled end, it doesn't look too dissimilar to yours. No, but I can see the, the, the cheapiness of this. A you can bit see more. the welding marks. There's plastic at the back. Yeah. Yours is plastic. Oh, is that plastic? Yeah, that's a plastic. You know, Andy, I think we should start this section with a chord of intrigue and guile. Let's do it. So, I'll give you some clean tones, and then I'm going to give you some kind of driven tones. Do you want to play? Yeah, why not? Yeah? He'll do the same, and then we're going to re-cable it with a bunch of <laughs> really expensive cables and see if there's any difference at all. Here we go. So far, these are really affordable cables sound really good. There's no arguing that it sounds good. It sounds good. So straight away, buying cheap cables doesn't necessarily equal a bad sound. Are we taking like reliability into uh, consideration here? Not yet. But you're right, we should do. Because <laughs> it sounds good now, what would it sound like in about six or seven minutes when we kick that pedal board around a bit? Just. Wait, wait. Oh no, it's your cable. <laughs> may I? You may. Ah! Would you like a crunchy sound? I'd love to, to have a crunch, please. Okay. Here we go. Try that. <laughs> So 
Sounds great. Thanks. I mean, if anything, that's a great guitar. This is a really good amp. And these really stab my knee with, yeah. with, my, with my new guitar. And these cheap cables See, I was sound good. So I've got to jump in there. I was waiting for the moment that you call it your guitar. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's the best guitar in Toman right now. Anyway, let's re-rig. Re-rig. Re-rig, that's, with that's what we're calling it. expensive cable. We have rigged up with the most expensive cable at the moment. This is the Vovox, would you call it Vovox? Vovox? One of those. Vovox. 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 Uh, whatever it's called, it's hella expensive and very rigid. For example, if Andy was just simply to pass the cable to me, it, it stays in the shape it is. Now this actually, although at first glance might seem to be really cool, it's a little bit difficult when you've got, yeah. you have to kind of bend it to the shape that you need it to be. And, it, and having the pedals pulled around by the cable made things a little bit difficult rigging this up, to be fair. But it does kind of, you can You can do bend that. it to where you want it to. But if that's going from your guitar to your pedal board or... or if you just like throw and go running down, you know, with a, with a pedal system, with a, sorry, a if you're just throwing down run and gun with a cable system that costs more than maybe your pedals, then you kind of want a cable that... Doesn't do that. Doesn't, doesn't <laughs> do this, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's see if it sounds better than the Prosim. Well, so far, it doesn't sound very different. So let's clean it up, being very scientific here. At the moment, I would say that there is zero to little discernible difference or notice. I mean, I might just say that, if anything, these sound a little bit quieter. I feel totally the opposite. Really? I mean, we started off with you playing some crunchy, some loud stuff, so maybe that's the, the problem, and I've been right. out there doing things. Yes. But for me, that, oh God, is this pseudoscience? Is it because you've left the room and come back into the I room? think it is. So you, you've, we did that scientifically, you said. We've, done it, we've added an extra layer to the test. What happens if you leave the room halfway through? That's a really good point, the leaving the room effect. Rabia, yes. what do you think? I can't hear a difference at all. You can't hear a difference at all. So that's two of us that can't hear a difference. I mean, we're just going to have to leave this to uh, A, the audience, but also you need to play. And then also uh, in editing, when we listen back to the files, well, well, no. We've not been entirely scientific. <laughs> but we, but we, we have been. We used to be. But we have been quite scientific. I mean, we've got the levels the same and...
honestly, all I keep thinking is, wow, this guitar is really nice. I wish I owned it. You, you have a little go. Dad, it just sounds fuller. Sounds fuller. Yeah. I don't know. Where are we? I'm going to try and play roughly the same thing and see how it feels. Absolutely. That's louder. That's, it's, well, yeah. It's considerably louder. Really good guitar. <laughs> it's just a great guitar. Great amp. Uh, uh, I suppose the thing is, if you, if it was just that these are a bit louder, can you just turn the amp up? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not hearing any less noise floor, are we? There was no point where I thought that sounds terrible. No. And also, uh, to, just just to be really honest, because I don't care. I'm just going to be honest. If you got the cheaper cables, and then they broke. How many times could you buy a replacement cable before you reach the value of, of this absolute behemoth? Well, that sounds like a question for the comments section. It does sound like a question. Because the there's 368 section. euros for the expensive. For one cable. One, and then 390 euros. Yeah. That's, that's probably more than three, less yeah. than a million. Now, um, I suppose the other thing is if you walked into a rig to play. Yep. How much do you care about your cables? Not a lot. And also, that would annoy me a lot. But the last thing, and I think this, it almost bugs me. Do you want your guitar back? <laughs> Don't start calling it my guitar, because it isn't really. This is the last thing, and it really bugs me. Sure. I still want one. <laughs> I can't tell you why, but I, I think knowing that it is the highest end cable you can get, it's a cool brand, it's rigid, it's, it's really big. Knowing, <laughs> knowing that <laughs> I still want one. That's bad. That's the power of consumerism and, and all that kind of stuff. I still want one, even though I've tested it. I couldn't really hear a difference, honestly. And, um, and I'm sorry to people that will say there was a difference. You're swapping over the rig, stopping playing, starting playing. I don't have a memory of the exact decibel level that I was at or the clarity of the guitar, which is why it's important for the, uh, the audience to, to help us out there. If I turned up to a, a gig where I was being supplied with a rig, yeah. and I came with these cheap cables, I would not worry so much, but if I turned up with this, I'd be more confident in my playing. Yeah. Do that, that reliability thing better. as well. Yeah I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd feel better. Well, I, what do you think, Cable? Oh, I think it makes a big difference. I think expensive cables. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for uh, answering that question, Vobox. Uh, over to you guys, I have been Rob Chapman. And I've been Andy, this is the Tolman YouTube channel. Take it easy, Chappers and Andy out. If I hold my, if I hold my cable up, it, it, it just, it doesn't want to stay where it... <laughs> this, I knew this would be the worst idea I've ever come up with. It doesn't want to do its job. But that one, that one, and also it comes slightly undone. So I'm just going to do it up, see if that made a difference to the tensile. No. That set, uh, smells like a, a, a Christmas Hessian sack, brandy, yeah. I'm gonna aged eat. oak barrel. Any eggnog? Eggnog. Yeah, chestnuts. Glug. Glühwein. Fleisch. Glugs. Fleischkuchen. At this point, we should go to the room. Definitely. <sighs> oh, didn't get it right.